Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn what are extended events in SQL Server. And in this video, we'll be learning brief overview of what are extended events in SQL Server. Extended events components such as packages, uh, consumers, also known as targets, engine, and session related to uh, extended events and how to query available extended events in SQL Server and uh, extended events versus SQL Server profiler. So let's talk about uh, briefly what extended events um, is in SQL Server. Basically extended event is a, a system back behind the scene that collects all the information any event that happen on SQL Server especially uh, from the SQL Server side on SQL Server it collects all that information so uh, it has integration between SQL Server events between operating system uh, that causes that connects to SQL Server uh, that communicate anything that communicates to SQL Server has a breakpoint and uh, has um, events related to that particular application or operating system so basically in my view extended events are the system that uh, gives us a way to collect all the events, all the information about the events happening in the SQL Server inside and outside the SQL Server such as operating system and application connecting to a SQL Server. So that's a, just a quick overview of extended events. They are extended events are basically available from SQL Server 2008. You can um, have add-on on, on uh, SQL Server 2008 to get the extended events. In SQL Server 2012 and 2014, they become part of SQL Server Engine. So when you install SQL Server Engine, you will see that when you connect to SQL Server, you will see that extended events you can configure uh, using SQL Server Management Studio and um, uh, configure session and based on that session you can configure the events what you wanted to capture. So anything that happens in SQL Server um, in if you're, you ever uh, basically worked on a SQL Server 2012 or 2014 or in 2008 or basically if you go back to 20, uh, 2005 then what we need especially as a DBA that you wanted to collect some specific information what's happening to SQL Server such as who created the database I'm just going to the basic who created the database who deleted the database who logged into the SQL Server who deleted the logins so all those events that's happening on SQL Server um, basically we wanted to um, we wanted to capture that those events and extended events is a system that gives us that ability so extended events we use extended events in 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 uh, different ways so we can also uh, just go ahead and if there is a issue going on on SQL Server and we wanted to troubleshoot that issue such as just a basic example that um, a query uh, is not behaving the way that it's supposed to so you can configure a, a extended event and look at the behavior of that particular T-SQL query so uh, they are they there is a, a vast variety of uh, extended events available in SQL Server um, and um, it used to be uh, basically um, I wanted to say that uh, now it's a combination extended events are a combination of SQL Server trace we used to run trace traces in order to troubleshoot some of the errors and we used to run SQL Server profiler in order to troubleshoot some of the applications behavior so uh, this is the combination of extended extended events are the combination of SQL Server profiler pro plus the trace and uh, in any way that uh, as far as uh, product uh, uh, goes from Microsoft extended events are added in SQL Server every day and uh, ev every release I would say uh, they will add tons of extended events however as far as uh, um, uh, SQL Server profiler uh, they are not that active to basically update SQL Server profiler uh, but um, most of that uh, if you have ever used SQL Server profiler it will be much easier to use extended events uh, in SQL Server so um, extended events have uh, uh, basically four components one is package in extended events world when we talk about package what we're doing is basically uh, picking up the events that we wanted to um, we wanted to basically capture those events so let's say there are 10 events that you have in your mind and you wanted to capture that you can put that in one place and that is called cap uh, package in extended events world and now uh, uh, basically what happen is that when when you event occurs uh, it can go anywhere 
So if you ever notice um, when we go to event viewer in um, Windows, uh, you will see that there are uh, different type of events like uh, application events, system events, and all those. So the, the, that would become the target of extended events. Extended events basically work together with extended um, uh, event window. So it, it, could, it has to be part of either application uh, event, system event, and all those events that's available in Windows, it becomes part of that. So any, any, anywhere that uh, uh, if, if something happened to SQL Server and is specific to SQL Server and uh, it goes to uh, a SQL Server error log, that becomes the target of that particular event. So those are the consumers um, in event, uh, extended event world. They are the consumers. So basically what happened is that um, extended event based on the type of event based on what happened on the system it can pick its target and engine engine is what uh, uh, let us basically uh, go ahead and define what event we wanted to do and then it runs behind the scene and once we define the package once we define the consumers and then it go uh, uh, engine is the one that helps us to uh, basically run all those events pro process the data and get the data and put it where we tell it to put all the events data it does all that back behind the scene for us so session session is a collection of package consumers uh, so you define the package what you want it to do you put it in one container and that container becomes one session you can have a multiple sessions let's say that you wanted to just uh, uh, one session would be you wanted to know that who created database, who deleted database, who created the object in database, and who log into that database. That could be one uh, session. And other session that you can define, you can totally uh, define it that um, who restored the database, right? Who, d who did uh, delete the data in a particular table. So you can basically pick and choose the events that you wanted to do and put it in session. And now, how I will show you that uh, what's available extended events in SQL Server, how you can query that, and how you can basically using SQL Server Management Studio, how you can look at that. Now, uh, there are uh, significant difference uh, between extended events versus uh, SQL Server Profiler. One difference is that um, extended events is a combination of SQL Server Profiler and uh, uh, SQL Server Trace. Uh, so that is the huge difference and other difference uh, between SQL Server Profiler if you ever have used SQL Server Server Profiler the data you get is uh, a bunch of numbers uh, you can go ahead and define um, you know in SQL Server Profiler the uh, filter they uh, filter the whole session if you in if you ever use SQL Server Profiler what do you do is when you define the filter on SQL Server Profiler, that is for the whole session. But in extended event, you can filter based on the event. Let's say I wanted to go ahead and capture who deleted the database. And in that, I, 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 there are certain events ha happen, and I just wanted to know that what is that, uh, what is the username uh, and what time database was deleted. That's all I wanted to know. So that's the filter. And we can define an extended event, uh, that particular on event le level, and you will see when we create an extended event, you will see that we can define the filter, and it's way uh, less overhead uh, on the system than SQL Server Profiler. So uh, DDL changes is much easier. You can basically define DDL changes, particular, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the table level uh, rather than the whole database level. And it's, it's much more flexible than SQL Server Profiler. There are other uh, differences too, but these are the big differences I can think of right now. So um, let's go ahead and take a look in Database Engine where the SQL uh, extended events are and what are the components and in my next video I'll be basically creating uh, a, a session where we will be creating extended event uh, and using all these components uh, in that session so stay tuned for that let's go ahead and take a look uh, where the extended events reside in SQL Server
this is my SQL Server. In using SQL Server Management Studio, you can connect to SQL Server uh, instance. And once you're connected with SQL Server in, uh, instance, you can go to click on Management. And once you click on Management, you will see a tab right here called Extended Events. If you open by default, there are a couple um, sessions that's in SQL Server 2012 and SQL Server 2014. Um, there are a couple of sessions already comes with it. One is always on health. If you have always on availability group configured on SQL Server 2012 and 2014, the, and you enable that, this will tell you the health of uh, your um, AG groups. And uh, also the system health. This is basically the system health. This comes um, and this is the package that you can look into the, that what uh, what kind of uh, information this particular session um, gets. So let's go ahead. Uh, if you wanted to, as as you can see that right here, this is the package. This is the session right here. And when you define a session, you define a package, and underneath the package, you define the events and filters. And we'll be learning how to do that in order to uh, basically create a new uh, extended event. If you right click, you don't have an option to create a new extended event. You don't create new extended event. You go in extended events, you create a new session. If you right click, you will see that um, there are a couple of ways to create a new session. And that would be session of extended events new session and new session using wizard first time if you're uh, ever collecting ever creating session the first time i would recommend you to go create uh, using wizard it'll help you to walk through everything and if you're good to go then you can click on new session and create uh, uh, an event uh, extended event or a session so basically this is a uh, this is it as far as overview goes and we'll as i said next video we'll be going uh, to go through um, creating a session and we'll be using package consumer engine session and we'll be using filter capability of extended events and I hope this brief introduction of extended events helped.